Hi, I'm Terry Kasinga with another Caltrans News Flash. In October, increased seismic activity at the Salton Sea prompted scientists to warn that there was an elevated risk for a large-scale San Andreas Fault earthquake. Over several years, Caltrans has been retrofitting interchanges such as this one here above us. Jerry DeSantos is the manager for Caltrans Structures Construction. Jerry, please tell us about the Caltrans Seismic Retrofit Program. Earthquakes create a challenge and an opportunity for us to advance in our seismic knowledge and, and codes. So this column here has a steel casing. And so what that does is it creates confinement. So in a really big earthquake event, this creates that, that, that bond, that external reinforcement to keep the column in place so we do not lose the structure. Our seismic design criteria in Caltrans is something very special. Uh, because it's something we've created that's a little bit more than what AASHTO is requiring. The department has a system called ShakeCast. And so ShakeCast, what it does is it shows a plume that represents the affected area of that earthquake. Following that, if it's, if it's severe enough and there's potential bridge damage, we get what's called a bridge assessment report. Sal Castaneda is a supervisor for the bridge crew. What happens when an earthquake takes place? And what does Caltrans do, Sal? Well, in the event of an earthquake with a magnitude of uh, five point or higher, but less than six, the road maintenance crews will do the initial inspection. This is our, our first responder breach assessment guide. This is a guide that we will use to do a, the initial assessment. There is no way to truly predict how an earthquake may affect our roadway infrastructure. But Caltrans is working every day to design and construct a highway system that can withstand a natural disaster and get you home safely. For Caltrans News Flash, I'm Terry Kasinga.